Hello, welcome back. Well, it's been revealed more than 15 million Australians, that's a lot, are struggling to get a good night's sleep and it's impacting our day-to-day -day lives from memory loss to unsafe driving and weight gain. Yeah, so now we're joined by naturopath Melanie Ruckley along with Irene Falcone who has personally uh, struggled with her own sleep deprivation. Ladies, good morning to you. Melly, tell us more about the study. H how bad is our problem as a nation? It's pretty bad. Really? So we, as Nourish Life, we wanted to look at how bad the problem is and the reasons um, why people were having such bad experiences with their sleep. So the study actually revealed that 65% of us are struggling with sleep deprivation or sleep disturbance. Um, and most of those reported that it was just simply because they can't switch their mind off. Um, and usually due to stress at work or home. So it's a, it's a pretty big problem and one of the scariest statistics to come out was that one in five actually um, felt unsafe driving because of their sleep wow. problem. That's Irene, bad. tell us your story. How bad did it get for you, the, the, the sleep deprivation? It, it was so bad for me that I think at my worst, I didn't wash my hair for at least two weeks. I was literally so tired during the day that I just didn't have that energy. I was always yelling at my children. Yeah. <laughs> and you have husband. a small business. I have a small business, Nourish Life. And, um, you know, a, as a business owner, I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning worried about if someone had left the toaster on and, the, you know, it was going to burn down and did I have the right insurance. And they with sort of things that were playing you know on my mind until about um, seven or eight o'clock in the morning when my family woke up that's when I decided I wanted to have a nap yeah it's it's tough timing that I, I feel you there Melody uh, let's talk about sleep deprivation because it's a form of torture really oh, absolutely. so why is it so important for our well-being well sleep allows our body to um repair and maintain itself so when we don't get that we just fit we don't feel ourselves we, we feel irritable we can be moody we can actually just turn into horrible people so that not only affects our own physical health so we're more prone to chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes but we actually also um, you know really affect our relationships and our family life can be affected you know families can break down because of you know sleep deprivation um, we need sleep for our brains to work properly basically Irene have you got some advice for those who are struggling there's so many <laughs> natural remedies out there um, to try things like herbal teas are great but for me it was really about the blocking of all electronic devices in the bedroom and don't bring your phone to bed just get an old-fashioned alarm clock and for me that was the biggest the biggest thing because there's no really? bright light so yeah. Just get, yeah all that the blue light they say that's what really you know really affects our brains absolutely social media for me I'd be up on social media for hours and hours and never get to sleep so that was yeah the big the biggest help for me well, look, ladies, thank you uh, both so much for coming in. If you'd like to know more about this study and how you can get a good night's sleep, head to nourishedlife.com.au. Good to have you both in. Your thank hair you. looks beautiful, so clearly yes, you've I'm getting it. a good night's sleep. Oh, you washed your hair? Yes, oh, I, I slept seven hours last night. It was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you both. Thank you.